Hey, subscribers and YouTubers. Hey, Flathead Terry again here. Hey, I'm back in the coop again. And uh, what am I working on? Well, today's dilemma is mirrors. Uh, let me switch the camera around and I can kind of show you what I'm up against. Okay, here's my view out the front of my 37 Plymouth Coupe. Uh, what you'll notice is I do have one mirror on the side, a little four inch flat, uh, doesn't do too much. And then I go over here and there's a whole lot of nothing. So uh, what I did is I ordered up a couple of the wide angle mirrors and uh, I'll show you those. Okay, well, here's what I ordered. Uh, these are made by United Pacific. Uh, straight arm peep mirror. Why they call them a peep mirror, I don't know. But uh, here's the back. Uh, what you'll see, here's the part number up here that I ordered. Uh, these again are the wide angle convex lens versus just the straight. Uh, which I have today on the driver's side already, so that doesn't do me any good. So here's the part number. Uh, this is where uh, the part number I ordered. So uh, I will post uh, where I got these off of and uh, go from there in the video. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Let's crack this open. I can do that. Here's the mirror itself. There we are. There's that handsome devil right in there. Whoa, look out. Okay, so uh, here we go. Looks pretty good. Uh, what I did notice on these, uh, I did take a look at these before. Um, I looked at the online, the distance. Here, let's try not to blind you here. Uh, the distance in the bracket itself and the length of these screws uh, being very, very long, uh, when we go look at the coupe, uh, the top edge of the door is very, very thin. So uh, this particular distance here is very wide. And these screws, if I were to use them correctly, they may protrude out too far out here. So um, let's take a look here at uh, taking these screws out and uh, see what else is in the package. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, inside the package we have an Allen wrench and we have a little pad that I would imagine fits in here. So as it mounts against your car on the outside there, it protects the paint. All right, so let's take these out to the coupe and uh, see how they fit. Okay, here's the mirror mounted to the coupe here. Let me come around. I want to show you how it clips on here. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Let's see if I can get this in here. You can see this is the top edge of the, the door itself. Uh, here, let me go around this way. Yeah, you can see how I have the, the rubber pad mounted in there. Uh, but uh, it's very snug. Uh, but all I'll find, of course, is if I try to close the door into this jam right here, of course. Yeah, let's see if I can get this over here where you can see. Yeah, there's no way if I'm going to close this door all the way through, it's going to latch. It's going to hit those screws here. I'm going to get the door. Yeah, I can't even hit the, uh, I can't close it because of those screws being so long in here. Let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. So, uh, the solution. Uh, the solution is to use shorter screws. So, let me show you those. Okay, I went to the hardware store. And as you'll see here, here is the original screw here that was mounted in there. Uh, it looks to be about five millimeters long or about probably a quarter inch. Well, I went to the store and got the same size. Now they're metric, and of course I did not uh, record uh, what size I got, but I got the shortest ones I could find. Uh, you can see they're very short. They're probably about an eighth inch long, maybe. Um, so uh, you can see how long these are. Uh, the original ones. So uh, what I can do is take these out and replace them with the little uh, shorties. Let's see how that works. Also on this arm I wanted to point out how uh, inside here it has a Phillips screw. Uh, let's loosen that up and I want to show you that this arm itself is adjustable. There we are. So you can pivot it. So let me uh, 
zoom out the camera a little bit there we go and kind of see now you can swivel this to get it adjusted just the way you want so i'm just going to take a wild guess here with the door jam about like that and the mirror about like that uh, we'll just give it a shot just for an initial setup okay screw back up there we go nice and snug all right now back out to the coop okay i have installed the mirror uh, you can see closely i have the boot mounted in there fits quite snugly uh, right around in there now let's look on the inside here take a look you can kind of see it's pretty drafty today let's take a look there it is you can see how the shorter screws are in there uh, making it uh, acceptable to fit right into the jam here without even hitting it so uh, some of these marks in here are from the old mirror uh, but uh, as I close the door it's no problem it's quite well there's no rubbing in there so we're in good shape now let's go inside and take a look and see what it looks like. Well, there we go. Uh, what I really like about this is that you can see part of the back of the, the car, or at least the side of the car. So it gives me a good reference point. And look at how wide it is. That's a really nice wide angle. I can see if there's any cars or if I'm backing up, I can see uh, you know what I'm running into or about to run into. So uh, let's get the passenger side in. Okay, I mounted the passenger side mirror the same as I did to the driver's side. Uh, there's a good look at it. Uh, I can even zoom in a little bit, but uh, as you can see, it's a nice wide angle. Uh, much better than nothing I had there before. So, uh, I call that a success. So, with the Flathead Terry review of this product, the straight arm peep mirror, uh, I give it a thumbs up. I think it would worked really well. It was adjustable. Uh, I did have to make some adjustments with the screws, of course, taking those out. Now, you could just take those original ones and uh, grind them down if you'd like. I took the lazy way out and drove over to the hardware store, got some thinner ones, uh, shorter ones. Uh, but overall, I like it. It, uh, it worked for me. I like the straight arm. Uh, so, uh, success. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching.